In this lesson, we'll be focused on importing data into Python. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe efficient and easy to use methods that Pandas provides for importing data into memory, identify functions such as read-csv for reading a csv comma separated values file into a data frame, and discuss about other data resources uh, that Pandas can directly import from. One of the biggest advantages of using Pandas is its ability to ingest data from a variety of sources in a variety of data types and formats. We can simply say that Pandas has simplified the data ingestion for all of us. Let's look at a few of these data formats and functions that make it possible. One of the most popular data formats is comma separated values, or shortly CSV. CSV is a simple file format used to store tabular data, such as a spreadsheet or a database. Files in the CSV format can be ingested into Python as data frames using the pandas read CSV function. JSON, or JavaScript object notation, is a format for structuring data and it's commonly used for communication within web applications. Using the read.json function in Python pandas, we can ingest the structure and contents of a JSON file as a pandas data frame or a series data structure. HTML is a hypertext markup language, and it's a file format used as the basis of every web page. The data in an HTML document gets stored as a list of pandas data frames using the read HTML function. SQL, or SQL, stands for Structured Query Language. SQL is used to communicate with a database using queries to insert, delete, and select data of interest. The read SQL query function in pandas provides us a way to subset and load data from a relational database to Python. Similarly, we can load a whole relational table using the pandas read SQL table function. Then it will simply show in tabular format uh, as a pandas data frames data structure. As a summary, ingestion of data into Python was not always easy. Pandas made it an intuitive process, and it has enabled data scientists with tools to manipulate the data ingested and key data structures to allow for a vast variety of these data formats. We listed just a few of the source types that we can ingest into Python, but there are many more examples if you follow the link provided in the summary slide.